Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your professor from Johnson County Community College. And in this short screencast, we'll talk about what JavaScript can do. Most people will say that HTML is used to describe or mark up the content. CSS is used to style and lay out the content. And JavaScript is used to interact with the content. And while that is mostly true, there are always exceptions to the rule. For example, when I roll my mouse over these hyperlinks, you're seeing the background color change. I specifically did this through a style, the hover pseudo class style, to prove that the technologies do overlap. I've set the A hyperlink element that when I hover over it, I'm changing the background color to pink, just to prove that there is some overlap with the technologies. Certainly, advanced CSS also has some interactivity. For example, here's the homepage at the w3schools.com site for CSS animations. It makes an element look like it's moving by changing its properties. And CSS animation lets an element gradually change from one style to another with different CSS properties. So there, too, we see some interaction with the user and some movement on the page that we would typically attribute to JavaScript. However, for the most part, JavaScript is used for interactivity. And to show you some examples, I'm going to take you back to w3schools.com. And here are four basic examples of what JavaScript can do. It can change HTML content. In other words, it can change what this paragraph is going to say as soon as the user interacts with the web page. For example, by clicking this button, I can change what that paragraph says. A second example is that JavaScript can change HTML attributes. Here's my JavaScript function. And when the user interacts with this web page and clicks on this image, we're actually changing an attribute. In this case, we're changing the SRC attribute from one picture to another, which gives the effect that I'm turning on and off the light bulb when all I'm really doing is clicking on that image to trigger the JavaScript to switch the image. So JavaScript can change the HTML content itself. It can change HTML attributes. It can also change a CSS style. When I interact with this button, when I click it, we are changing the styles of this HTML element. Again, we're doing it through a JavaScript function that is being invoked when we click that button. And a fourth thing that JavaScript can do, it can validate input if I have a form and I'm asked to put in a number between 1 and 10, and then I enter 5, I can give the user a message through JavaScript that checks that value and makes sure that it's within the range that, that is desired. Of course, if I try to put something in like 20 and click Submit, I can give the user a different message. So those are really basic examples of what JavaScript can do. And of course, over here at w3schools.com, you can play with the code, click See Result, and find out how your changes impacted that example. So it's really nice place to play with some small examples. I also wanted to show you some more robust and professional examples of what JavaScript can do. It provides a carousel across different textbooks. Of course, I've got to click on a book to see the interaction happen. I found a very nice article of 42 top examples of JavaScript, and I'll show you just a few of my favorites. Here is a designer's website, and again, all I'm doing is hovering over an image, and the author is using JavaScript to change the image when the user hovers over a picture in a very easy, classy use of JavaScript. This particular website, multior.com, is a way to interact on a mobile device with your screen. It's a way to play one, two, three, up to eight people can play this game, which just basically makes your mouse into a meteor, and then you destroy the airplanes and birds and objects that are in your way and, and earn a score. So it's just a fun game that uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript only, just to give you an idea of how pervasive JavaScript is in games. And here's a third site, sidigital.co. We create digital chemistry, and on load, they're running quite a bit of JavaScript that is making this animation happen. And I just thought it was very clever and very classy and just something to get us all inspired about learning JavaScript. Thank you.